To some people, the original is their favorite thing in the world. The movie that made them love horror. Th hey, everyone. Since there was no news today in regards to Scream 6, I thought I would talk about a scene we see in the trailer real quick before I get into my final predictions of who lives and who dies. Something has been bothering me since the first time I saw this Scream 6 trailer, and it has to do with the person dressed like Ghostface, staring at our protagonist and then proceeding to get up and walk over to them before grabbing Mindy by the face uh, and pushing her against the window. It just doesn't make sense that after everything the group has been through that they let anybody come up to them like that and just not jump this person uh, especially if the person is you know getting way too close uh, to their personal space you know also there's no way in hell Chad lets that happen to his sister especially after we see how he confronts Vince for harassing his own girlfriend at a bar in Scream 5 we're supposed to believe that Chad would let someone dress like Ghostface slowly get up and attack his sister on the train without doing anything about it? It doesn't seem plausible. And the more I watch it, the more it seems like a dream. I'm not sure who's dreaming it, but think about it and consider it as it just doesn't make any sense. On to the real topic for today. Let's predict who lives and who dies. Let's begin. I'll start with who lives. All signs are pointing towards Sam living. As she was the final girl of Scream 5 and is on track to be the new Sydney. She's easy to root for and doesn't feel like a forced boring character. Killing her off when we see how close she is to losing grasp of reality and allowing her hallucinations to influence her actions is something um, that I, I couldn't see happening, as in her being killed off. I think the directors are hell-bent on exploring her hallucinations and how she behaves, you know? Tara also lives, or should I say Jenna Ortega also lives. It's She just has too much star power right now, you know? and killing her off would more than likely negatively impact the Scream 7 box office. All signs point to her survival, and she seems to have more significance this time around as she even has a scene in the TV spots and trailer where she's cursing at Ghostface and taunting him to uh, attack her and her sister, you know? Chad will also survive, and it's because he's the only male figure to root for in the franchise right now. The new casted male characters haven't proven anything to be likable. Uh, Chad also survived a brutal attack in Scream 5, which still puzzled me. You know, it still puzzles me. If he dies, I think it'll be in Scream 7. I just, I, I think he's, you know, too much of a male figure right now in the Scream uh, franchise to root for. Kirby will also make it, because Hayden Panettiere also has star power, and Kirby also is a fan favorite across generations of Scream fans. Bringing her back just to kill her off would piss people off. If Sydney is killed off in Scream 7, Kirby will be, or uh, Kirby would be the senior core member of the Scream franchise at that point. She'll make it to Scream 7 at the very least. Now I'll predict who dies. Gail's time in the franchise will more than likely come to an end after what we see in the trailer. The directors killed off fan favorite Dewey in the previous movie despite knowing it would upset Scream fans. They still did it anyway. The directors seem to want to focus on the younger generation of Scream characters at this point and that means Gail, who has very little to do with the group, is more than likely scheduled to meet her demise in Scream 6. Mindy will also likely die, and that sucks, actually. She's likable, and she's knowledgeable, just like her and Chad's uncle Randy. 
all signs point to her being killed off as she knows how the rules work in horror movies. Just like her Uncle Randy did. And it won't be enough to save her life. Just like how it wasn't enough for Uncle Randy. At least that is my prediction anyway. Thank you for stopping by and letting me tell you my predictions. I hope that you have a wonderful day and that uh, tomorrow is a good Friday for you and that you have a wonderful weekend as well. Make sure to wash your hands and don't touch your face. Stay safe.